I'll be reacting to Don't Toy With Me Miss Nagatoro Episode 7. I'll be watching it from Crunchyroll's website and I'll be starting my reaction in from the minutes and 30 second mark in one, zero, go. Alright, I'm pumped up for this. Senpai wants to go to the festival. Oh man, I'm loving the sound of that. And considering it just barely had a beach episode, it's a nice transition into a festival episode, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, naturally, she would say something like that. You know, maybe one of these times you should take the initiative. He should! I think our boy should do that eventually, you know? Oh yeah, he's probably practicing to beat our Nagatoto if he were to face her again in the game. I think he should take... That's what I'm thinking! He should go for it! I have a feeling that I want to... YES! That's exactly... Okay, good. I have a feeling that once he goes towards the phone, and Nagatoro's gonna send the invite, though. Cause you know what they say, early bird gets the worm. Hey! I mean, because he enjoys spending time with her, that's why. He's contemplating it. Although, of course, he's not gonna admit it to him still straight up, though. And I would understand why. He's really new to this. I'm not gonna blame him. I mean, it's perfectly natural that our senpai would have at least some reservations. I mean, yeah, he shouldn't, but he's an experience in this kind of stuff. Oh boy. Thing is, these type of things are done. Oh, I thought everything that was like a total. <laughs> oh boy. It's Gallo and Company. Hey, you know, oh, damn, I thought I was going to be impressed and I was like, oh, he became more athletic. Never mind. He did. He probably did. He didn't notice it consciously, but he did it subconsciously. You know, I wouldn't actually mind seeing him spend time with Nagatoro's friend. And that explains why Nagatoro didn't send the invite towards him. I mean, hey, if he were to get in a relation with Nagatoro, he might as well become capable of Nagatoro's best friends. Oh! Damn, they're quick out of the way to so quickly! I'm assuming there's a chance one of them might send a picture with the senpai together just to troll the hell out of Nagatoro. That feels like something Gamma would do! You can tell she wants, she deep down probably wants her boy to invite her. I mean, that's the first thing she thinks of. Oh! Oh! That's exactly what I thought they were gonna do. I mean, I'm not gonna say that I, I'm not gonna celebrate about predicting it because that, that's something that Gamma would naturally do. But yeah, I'll still. S He's gotta be ready for hell though. She's coming now, yeah. Damn! She looks like she's ready to kill someone! They all knew that's how they would. Oh no, she ran super damn quick. It probably ended just on time. I 
But the thing is, though, our friends are probably going to stretch it to the limits. Oh! Uh, are they really going to challenge her? I would not! She does care. If not, she wouldn't get this riled up. Our blood might actually drag her down, though. Hey, might as well. Why not? Hey, you know, one of them kind of reminds me of Astro Boy. When it comes to... They kind of hit it at just the right spot. I don't know if she should be giving tips to the opposition, though. Yeah. I like how now he has at least some witty responses. Ah, They're on the same team though, eh? There's actually... Ho <laughs> ho! Dude! That's why you're recruitable like a book, man! But that's part of the charm, though. Of them. Yeah, that guy I knew she was deep down. She did want our senpai to call her. But you know what? It's better he realizes this eventually. Yeah, it would have been nice if he realized earlier, but it's you. Sometimes it takes a while for things to sink in. Sometimes. Well, yeah, I mean, I had a feeling our senpai was going to drag Nagatoro's team down. I guess if he does look pretty dang good. I'd say quality over quantity if you ask me. Aww. Oh, I'm not gonna just react to that. Like that. Ah, oh, fucking adorable. Yes! Aww. <laughs> uh. I like that meow noise. Oh, hell yeah. Ling do nice steamy. No, I mean, I'm just joking about steamy things. But they can definitely do some nice wholesome activities. Hey, we look. Hey, you know, the spout that our Pison is in looks pretty damn good. Oh, you just want to garble in the ghost you think. Oh, fuck! That is looking cute. Aww. Looks like a date to me. It doesn't feel like a date. It looks exactly like a date! Damn, we're always getting pretty dang. It's a day. I mean, hey, sometimes a relationship, you don't need to start the proper procedures to make it work, though. She's saying that, but we know deep down she would could go to a day with Senpai if, sen if our Senpai actually made the move first. Exactly! She wouldn't be saying things like try holding hands if there wasn't a shot. But yeah, our senpai ain't gonna notice things like that yet. He's thinking too long. He just go for it. You know? But I'm not gonna, again, I'm not gonna blame him. The reason why I don't blame him is because he doesn't have much experience with women, so... It's natural, his hesitation and reservations.
<laughs> ah. Yeah, that is a way too long. Fireworks uh, venue 10 meters ahead. Huh. Damn. It's like people are lined up to buy riding with the amount of crowds. Are. My goodness. Oh, he's going to be sharing a personal spot with her. Yo, he might actually see him actually take the initiative this time. Go for it! Yes! I like how this time he's the one leading her ahead this time. And not the other, don't get me wrong, I like it when it's the other way around. But this is nice on itself too though. Because sometimes our senpai does should lead the situation on occasion, so it's a two-way relationship, you know? I think our girl's gonna be in for a shocker. And you know, it says a lot too about his experience as an elementary school. Even though it didn't show a flashback, it shows you how much he valued that memory if it popped up in this specific moment. I wonder what she's scheming. <laughs> oh, it could just be up to friends hanging out. Or I should say acquaintances because we haven't seen one of the other referred to them by friends yet. <laughs> although, although on occasions, yeah, Nagatoro just pushed things a little, a little bit too much. On, on occasions. But we know it's part of her personality, though. Oh boy. He just took the angry side. I like how finally he's been on the spot. Hey, it's only fair. Our boys usually put him on the spot. She's blushing so deep down she probably wouldn't mind if that does happen eventually. <laughs> Here's the thing. Yes, yeah, sometimes I'm thinking that the senpai should take initiative, but sometimes Nagatoro inadvertently does push a bit up too much buttons sometimes. Whoa! I love the way she reacted! Oh, I'm so dumb! <laughs> yeah, they ain't ready yet. But uh, who knows? But you know what? They might be eventually, though. Yeah, now she stopped the teasing. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe they go to the festival next year, or in a few months, and she can wear the Ikataka. Hmm. Hope he takes her up by that, eventually. Yeah! 
It's the initiative. It's a long run, but it's still the initiative regardless. Hey, why not? I don't think it'd be hard. So if ever Nakatoru, I wouldn't be surprised if she wears a Neko Yukatakas. Wish. Ah. Oh, there's a third portion. Okay. Fuck yeah, I'm hot. I love that Dragon Quest reference there, which, speaking of which, uh, the Dragon Quest Adventure Dynamite is among my favorites this season. Oh, that girl just showed off in the Dream episode, at least in the first bit. The thing is, he's gonna be noticed. You know, he, he might as well, hey, you know, he should consider still going around. Just saying hello or something, you know? I mean, he's interacted enough with uh, Nagatoro, Gamo, and Yoshi. Yeah, but if someone always, um, always thinks like that, they're always going to be lonely as hell forever. He might as well go for it. Oh, it's too late for him to... Yeah, you can definitely tell Nagatoto's disgusted and you know she's uncomfortable. <sighs> hey, you know what? He could actually No. No, he should not No. Well, I mean I guess maybe. But in this case, Nagatoro looks like she definitely has no interest. Yeah, she's probably in the face of I don't want to be included in this shit with the way she's emoting. Too late now, he already, um... I mean, hey, he's gonna have to show up now. He could actually help liven up the situation. Depending on how he handles it, he can gain a lot of respect from Yoshi. Maybe not, well, more respect from Yoshi and Nagatoro. Or he can make things worse. Or in the middle. payoff from the second third of the episode. Aww. <laughs> I love how she's excited. Yeah, that's fun. And I even love how like, the animators actually really portrayed perfectly how monumental that scene is. The way her hair was super detailed and her facial expressions. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> hey, they got us recall everyone was actually lame eventually, though. Ah, she's saying that, yeah, she's saying, well, all blushy. Hey, but you know what? Nothing wrong with hentai either. Nothing wrong with 
then again, I don't know if I should talk because I do react to a lot of. I've reacted to close to 400 hentai, so. I don't know if I'd be the person to ask about that. But nothing wrong with hentai, in my opinion. I'm just saying. He's saying that Yasaka sounds like she's slightly excited, though. I like how there. Um, no, she, he does fit in, he just doesn't notice. Because he's like the glue of the conversation right now, everyone's having fun. But I could see why our boy might not perceive that he fits in. You know? But no, he definitely is blending in perfectly. Gotta admit though, um, the episode it had a lot more heart than I was expecting. Because going in, I was expecting a comedic episode, which I got exactly that. But I wasn't expecting our senpai to be this bold. I love it! Yeah! And let me explain what I mean by bold. I love how in this episode, we finally get to see him make a move. Because... It was nice how he mentioned the fact that, yeah, he wants to go into a festival with Nagatoro at the end of the second third of the episode. That's a lot of growth for him because our old, well, the senpai that was introduced early on in the series wouldn't have had the emotional fortitude to do that. And now he does. And I do will also love the characterization for Yoshi because we do see her in a spot where she's slightly uncomfortable when those boys show up. And it was nice to actually get to see our senpai defeat a situation that could have uh, really, really been uh, intense. Oh, no. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, this is looking pretty dang steamy. Oh. Okay. Looks like... Man, it looks like fun. And not just the character development for our senpai, but I even love the character development for Nagatoro too, because you can definitely tell she's making it more obvious that she likes her senpai. She's not saying it outright, but when she's saying things like, why don't you try asking someone if you like them, but when she says it in a blushing manner, I'm like, yeah. She's definitely feeling a lot, or when she instantly wanted to go with her senpai home. That was also really darn cute. And she accepted that with a zero hesitation. Like those are the type of subtle bits of character development that really make watching this series enriching because it's like, man, just makes you remember how the characters were when they were first introduced. And then you compare them to how they are now and just makes you look back and it makes you appreciate these tiny moments in the episode. So that when finally something monumentous happens, it feels like, it feels like a lot. And that's why I loved the episode, because it wasn't just comedy for the sake of comedy, it was comedy with the sake of purpose. And plus, I did like how we get to see Gano and Yoshi actually play around with our senpai. That was actually cute too. Because for one, and seeing stuff like that, we get to see some of, say, Yoshi's hobbies. Like, seeing things like how she collects, likes to collect rare plushies. Uh, that was actually pretty darn nice, if you ask me. Or even some of the things like when Gamma likes to take pictures just to tease the hell out of her friend Nagatoto. Like, things like that really made the episode lively for me. And that's why I thought the episode was just absolutely and utterly fantastic. And in addition to all that, something else that I also really thought made the episode go up to a whole nother level for me, I loved how not, it wasn't just the writing that was fantastic, but it was the animation quality too. Like, when you see how happy our girl was when our senpai wanted to wanted to go home with her, that was actually really cute. I was like, aww. 
Or that scene where she's um, touching the cheek of Gamma looked really darn good too. And things of that nature. Like stuff like that really stood out visually. And on top of that, the fireworks scene was just absolutely amazing. Especially when you saw Nagatoto's face when you saw couples actually getting on. And I was like, oh, this is nice. Just seeing them react that way. And that's why I loved the episode visually because some of these jokes, they would not work if the animation quality was absolute garbage like I'm seeing in some animes. But since the animation in this series is so good, it works perfectly. And I can say that with zero hesitation. That's why I appreciate the craftsmanship. Animation and artwork were great. And that's why I feel the episode is 9 out of 10 worthy. But anyways, y'all. These are my thoughts on the episode. Hope y'all comment on your thoughts and how I feel about my reaction in the comment section below. Hope y'all rate the video, share it, comment, or subscribe. And I'll see y'all later if you come back for more. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'm fantastic everyone. Bye-bye.